and it's just a basic introduction to, to Python. What we're going to do is uh, capture some network packets and process them. So the first thing we'll do, I'm using Windows here, but you can use any operating system that you want, just install Python to it. So there's that. And uh, so what I'll do is I'll call it lab, well I'll call it software 01. So let's see if I can make the text a little bit bigger, that's as big as it goes. And then we'll just put that in there. Okay, so we can just uh, run it and we'll see what we get. Okay, so the decimal value is 10, hexadecimal is E, and then octal is 12, that's an 8 and a 2, and then in binary we have a 0B in front of it. So what we'll do is we'll just modify this one, and then we'll put in uh, 23 here. There we go. So 23 is 35 in decimal, 0, 43 in octal, and 100011 in binary. Okay, so the number formats for Python a 0b identifies binary, a 0 in front of it identifies octal, and a 0x identifies hexadecimal. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll have a look at the, the WinP cap uh, capture for, uh, for Python. So uh, if you're interested in looking at uh, the C-sharp equivalent, uh, we've also got that on the, on the web page. But to keep things nice and simple, we'll just use the WinP cap uh, Python integration. So the first thing that you'll have to do is you've got to download, uh, you've got to install WinP cap. Okay, so go to the winpcap.org site and download that. Once that's installed, then click on this link here and then what to do is to extract this file here to your python folder i'm using python 2.7 okay so what you should find is that that file is there so there's the there's the, the winpcap python file so this is going to this will give us the code that will interface to the C++ code. Okay, so in the first example, this is the code that we're going to use. Very simple example where we're just going to show that we can capture packets as they, they arrive. Okay, so let's call this software2.python. the code then okay so this is the uh, the, the, the function that, that will uh, allow the packets to be captured and then that calls up a point uh, uh, a handler whenever a, pot, a packet comes in then it calls up this function here okay so uh, this one here is called up, and in this case, all we're really doing is printing out the some of the header contents, the time string, and the length of the packet. Okay, this function here uh, prompt gets all the interfaces on the the computer, and then asks the user which interface they want to capture from, and then that is actually returned to the main. Okay, so we set up the, the packet handler here. We get all the interfaces on the machine. We then get the adapter here and then run it live. In this case, uh, we run for 20 packets and then it will actually stop. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just run that just to see how we get on.
OK, so it's asking me for two adapters. This one here is my wireless adapter. So I'll select one. OK, and let me remember what that is. So we just create some, some traffic here. There we go. OK, so some of the packets are quite large. There's a 3000. Other ones are actually quite small. OK, but we can see there's a timestamp. And then for every packet that came in, it actually gives us the um, the length of the packet, the timestamp. OK, so that just shows that it, that it works uh, from there. So the next one that we'll do, we'll start to actually mining to the, the details of the packet by looking at the, the packet header, especially into the IP and the TCP part. So we'll just open up our file again. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put in the, the format of the packet. So we'll just put this in here. OK. So this basically says that the IP field uh, is uh, first 8 bits is the uh, version it's actually the 4 bits but we'll, we'll just pick off the, the uh, 4 bits here type of service is then 8 bits there length 16 bits, identification then flags the prototype, the, the protocol used is important because it tells us if it's TCP or UDP there's a CRC check and then the source and the destination address. OK, so that will pick apart the IP header. Then what we'll do is that uh, we'll uh, just go ahead and we'll modify our handler. This time we're going to print out the details of the packet. OK, so in this case we're going to pick off the header. And then we're going to look at getting the the IP address. In this case, we split the IP address up into its, its four bytes. So we'll print out the source IP address and the destination IP address. OK, so let's go with that one. OK, and we'll select interface 1. There we go, and just to refresh that. Okay, so we're just getting a little error there. So let's have a look. generate some traffic and and there we go okay so it looks like uh, the remote site here is uh, this this IP address here and if we looked at our local address we can see that it's 172 six, 172 16 141 149 okay so everything's fine there and we have an address there, 87.106.189.123. And what we'll do is we'll do a lookup on the site that we're accessing. That's 87.106.189.123. So we can see there that the traffic between our computer and the site is here. And this is the reply back that we actually get. OK, so that seems to be working. Fine. 
Okay, so the next interesting thing that we want is to know the port numbers that we're actually using, the server ports and also for the client port. So we'll just bring up our Python script again. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add in the details of the TCP header. So I've not put the full details in, that's really up to you. Uh, but uh, the first the first 16 bits of is the is the source port and then we have 16 bits for the destination port there's 32 bits for a sequence number 32 bits for uh, an acknowledgement okay so we're going to pick off if it's a tcp packet or a tcp segment uh, then we're going to pick that off so then what we'll do is we'll just copy this here and this time we have a new packet handler okay and all that's really had added here is that uh, we're taking off the the header after the IP we work out the length of the IP packet and then that will take us to the TCP header okay so then that gives us our offset this is really just looking at the version number. If it's version number 4, then it's 16 bytes. Okay, so that, that then gives us the place where we start the TCP header. Now we're going to be doing here is to add on a TCP source port and destination port. And then that'll be it. Alright, so we'll just save that. So let's go again. Okay, so there we go. So 53 is actually, 53 is is the port that's used for DNS. Okay. So the communications with the website is this one here. Okay, our source port is 5253 and the destination port is 80. It then will return back from that port yeah so it would return back from port 80 to our source port here okay and there's more data going out to the server and from the server back to our client port okay so that's that's working fine the slight problem that we have here is that uh, the 53 actually identifies UDP and not TCP and it has a different format uh, from TCP. Uh, TCP is connection orientated with the sequence and acknowledge where UDP only has uh, the ports in, involved. So in the next part what we'll actually do is we'll, we'll determine what we're actually using uh, it's from the format And we'll actually examine the the protocol that's actually involved. Okay, the the protocol field within inside the IP header defines the what's coming next, what the transport layer protocol is. So I'll just make sure that we have our tab in the right place. So in this case, all I'm doing is adding in the protocol field now. That's the one up here. Okay, eight bit field, but it's a great little field because it determines what's coming next. So let's run it again and let's do this. Okay, 17, 17, 17 and there is a 6. Okay, we'll just run it again just to see what we get. Okay, so we've got lots of 6 this, this time. So TCP is 6 and UDP is 17. So if we get a value of 17 in the IP header for the protocol field, that's UDP. Uh, if we get 6, then it's TCP. Okay, there's 443 used. 443 is used uh, for a secure connection, secure web connection. There's also 80 there. 
Okay, so what we'll do now is that uh, we'll actually pick off that value and then we'll we'll actually only show when it's TCP. So So in this case, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add in uh, where the the protocol field is six, which is TCP. We're just going to print out those those packets, so we shouldn't get any UDP coming through now. Okay, so let's run that. Okay, so we'll just refresh, and there we go. Okay, in this case, we're only seeing six coming through. That's because that's a TCP. We're obviously not seeing any more because there's probably 20 packets captured and these are the only ones that are TCP. Okay, we can see that 443 and 80 are web protocols which use TCP. Okay, so that's really just been a, a quick introduction to uh, using WinPCAP with Python.